for the women's sport in Juro X final and we're underway and down into the first corner, 44, leads, they all come to a full stop and it's a complete long jump and that means that Casey Martinez leads on the KCM, oh we've had an upturn for the books immediately at the start of this sixth lap and next up is Chantal Bikerk, there is Sainz, now she's got to keep her cool, you were talking about that a moment ago Cam, so she is absolutely, well she's in She's in eighth oh, position. And a pass for the lead or for second place. That's Tara Geiger jumping into second. She did the double jump, and there's a good ju look at Laya, the number 44. You can hear the crowd willing her along. She's within sight of the leader at the moment, but leading is Martinez. Brock, next up, number 411. That's Maria Forsberg. Remember, she had silver in Volk de Guasso. Then we have got Tara Geiger in third position. And Laya Sainz is already battling, and she's already through to fourth position. A great move by Laya. Very confident in the matrix. And uh, I checked that earlier. I thought that there was uh, that uh, Geiger had passed in the second, but actually passed in the third. Here comes the pass for third now. Laya Sainz going right by on the inside of Geiger. He's up to third position, Cam from nearly dead last on this very line. Oh, she has a problem. She has to go out and around Forsberg, who is locked up. And here comes Geiger once again. Geiger on the 68. But the 44 of Laya Sands, she's actually on a KTM. For all sorts of reasons, she's dropped the gas gas since we last saw her at Fos de Guasu. Meanwhile, at the sharp end, the 22-year-old Casey Martinez on her KTM is leading this women's Ford in Jurek. Listen to the crowd here in Barcelona. This is what sport is all about. They are cheering, they are willing her on. She's in third position still. As you said, she's not a jumper, but she's a trial world champion. And Martinez through the chopped wood. It's Forsberg getting passed now. And Maria Forsberg, your two-time gold medalist for the ladies aboard the 411. She is not going to give up without a fight. She is absolutely tough. Very solid competitor. And look at him working the section. Forsberg going to come out of the matrix in front of Laya. And Laya has to drop back just a little bit there, but I think she may be biding her time, getting, waiting to get to the rock section or something tough. But Laya's already been caught up by a couple people as she starts to pass. She gets bunched up, and the spots that's really been tough for people is this rock section where Casey Martinez from Sunol, California. Oh, this Laya is almost in one maneuver as she accelerates out. And Sainz takes the lead! But only just! It's even Stevens. Now she hits the front and she goes over the rock. What a fight back. I don't know how many years we've got commentary between us, Cam. I've never seen a fight back like that before. Unbelievable. That is why she's just just taken the, the whole off-road world by storm. And there's women and men. They're standing and cheering in Barcelona. Listen to this as she comes past the crowd. They're on their feet as she comes over the tyres. I thought she was rattled about a lap and a half ago, but she's kept it in check as she goes through the log pile now. Sainz leads at the moment. Goodness me, this six lapper. What a turn up for the books. Forsberg in second position. And Forsberg, she's in awe of Sainz, but, well, after today, what words can she come out with? What words can we come out with? And Laya working over that tire obstacle. Those tires are, are pretty pliable and flexible. Forsberg behind her having a little bit of trouble but still moving forward. Watch Laya on just her mechanical skill on the bike. You don't see her getting squirrely. You don't see her suddenly putting a foot off here and there. That's something that these riders in the enduro and trial. Oh, look at her. She's bunched up now. Here comes Forsberg trying to get to the inside. Oh, and we've got to change the position as well because Rachel Goodish is having a fantastic run aboard the Yamaha. The 17-year-old is flying. She's got a hand maybe on a gold medal. She was up to second at one point in Foz in Brazil, but then it fell away. So might the youngster on the Yamaha, the youngest competitor here, get a chance to get a medal? Well, wow. okay, leading still, Sainz, there she is, there's that lead, there are the crowd, she can't walk down the street here in Barcelona, she is a national hero here in Spain. The lead that she has got over Maria Forsberg is about 10 seconds by my quick calculation, it's less than that I think, Cam.
I think it is. And Maria has, has come up close, and you may be right. It may be 10 seconds. Forsberg had another problem there. It looks like in the chopped wood, but watch Sun. How mechanically put together in that matrix she was. Watch her attack. She doesn't over attack, and she just comes through methodically standing really ready for each obstacle. Okay, a third position we've got for the local, Sandra Gomez, a rookie here at the X Games. She is battling for the third position at the moment with Rachel Goodish. There they are, there it is, third and fourth position. Spaniard leads at the moment from the American, and Sandra Gomez, her brother, will, uh, we've seen already this evening in the men's board in Juro X, is having a great run. So at the moment, there's two Spaniards meddling here tonight in women's in Juro X. I'm just, I'm really at awe. I, I didn't know Laia before we went to Brazil. And just watching her skill, I mean, you see a lot of skilled riders, but when you watch a rider who just really doesn't seem to make a mistake, who doesn't, you know, have that little bobble here and there, it's just the mechanics, the stance on the bike, the way she controls, the way she controls her, her tempo also on the track, I mean, she's very, I mean, she reminds me of Jeff Aaron a bit, the way she's methodical about getting through the obstacles. She doesn't look quick, and that's the trick as well, isn't it, Cam? You know, she's only quick when you do look at the stopwatch, but she, she looks a little bit quicker to me here in Barcelona than she was in Foz, because she's maybe rattled after that first corner incident, but... Uh, no, she coming back to her overall skill, she's won the women's section on two wheels in the Dakar that she has done in South America, Argentina, uh, over into Chile, up into Peru, and she's finished top 40 in amongst the men. That's a massive, massive hit to have and a great boost to your confidence. Okay, coming over those river rocks for the penultimate time. Forsberg, there she is in second place. That's about an eight second gap. Can Maria Bridget, or will Maria get a second silver medal in 2013? And the white flag is out for Laia. The fans will be willing her around this track, hoping for that gold medal for Spain. Everybody here in Barcelona familiar with Laia, uh, really a hero, and for her to be making this trip back and forth between events, listen to the fans. Brilliant stuff. She was walking the course in Portugal only yesterday. She's going to be catching a flight later this evening to go back to Portugal. It's only about an hour's flight to compete in the opening round of the Women's Enduro World Championship. She's defending her title in 2013. And uh, it, she wasn't, of course, due to be here tonight, Cam. But I think the pressure of the fans, the people who really do support her, made her come here. I mean, what a fairy tale. It's been absolutely brilliant. And Gomez, in her first Enduro Cross race, Enduro X race, is looking at a podium. But right now, Laia, the whole story, putting it together, she is going to be making a move. We can see the starter going to the checkered flag as here comes the number 44. She's got the river rock and then the big rocks in the straightaway. Look at the foot plant and bike control. Stellar performance. Laia Sands is about to take her second X Games gold medal and she does it here in Barcelona. She takes gold in front of the Catalan fans. A hero's welcome for Laia Sands. She was eighth at the first corner and she fought back to third on the first lap and eventually took the gold medal. Maria Forsberg, she takes second position. She gets the silver here at X Games Barcelona. And now we wait to see who will get the bronze. And it is going to be Gomez Cantero. Spain get two medals out of three here at X Games Barcelona. Hey, it's getting international. <laughs> to say the very least.